M0 FXP Digital Ham Radio Diary. Welcome. M0 FXP, welcome to my channel. So we're just going to set up this open spot four that's been lent to me by Art. Thank you very, very much. So uh, we've got the Icon 52 and we've got the open spot four here. We've charged it up. Let's turn it on. Try not to break it. So we'll turn it on. Let's just see if it goes into access mode or sends out its Wi-Fi credentials just by turning it on. If not, we'll hold down the Wi-Fi button and put it into access mode. So let's have a look. So we're just looking at Wi-Fi signals. Can you see here it says open spot four? Now, if that doesn't happen, hold down where you see the Wi-Fi here emblem and it will just put it into access mode they call it so what it does it effectively connects the wirelessly the open spot 4 to your laptop or PC or phone I suppose and then we'll hit connect and it should start a window of setup now we haven't set this up this is the first time we've turned it on um, so we'll, we're in the United Kingdom so we'll just look for United Kingdom here and the frequency we're going to use is actually 433.550. So we've got United Kingdom, and then we'll go next. I mean, it's so fast to set this up. Click OK, and then what should happen? It should be asking now for our internet. My internet at home is here, so I'll click Connect. Um, and then I'll put in the password. Uh, hopefully, you won't be able to see this. So there's my password, click connect, and then once it's connected, then it will allow your computer to go back to using its normal Wi-Fi, but the open spot for uh, can't connect, requested Wi-Fi, authentication fails, so I've got the password wrong, so we'll try that again, connect. Try again, click connect. Right, there you are, it's getting an IP address. Uh, the OpenSpot 4 is now connected. You can continue setting up your OpenSpot 4 by clicking Next, and you've got some details here. Access point mode will be turned off after clicking on the Next button. So it means your computer will connect back to its, its, you know, its Wi-Fi. So we're gonna go Next, Access Point is off, Access Point mode turned off, okay. Um, we've explained what that means. So we're now on. And we're going to need to set our frequency, or we're not going to hear anything on the radio. So we'll keep this live so you know what's happening. Connecting, there it goes. Interface disconnected. I'm just listening to what it's saying, actually. Now, if you ever can't find it, <clears throat> all I do, hopefully a new a window will a window will appear without me having to do anything. You just type in shark rf dot link and that will find it. So let's put that in shark rf dot link and it should go to it. Now the thing is, I've got two turned on here. So what it, we need to put in the device ID and then it will find the right one. So let's turn this round and look at the device ID which is on the back here. Um, so yeah. Okay, we put the ID in and it's going to find us. You can enable advanced mode here. Got it. So yeah, here at the bottom it says bottom you've got advanced mode and it just allows more menus to be used. But we'll keep this as a connect just a connect only video for now. Put the open spot back where it was. It's got a built-in battery as you know. So now let's get in our call sign. So we'll go M0F. XB it should find at the DMR and the NXTN. We can click save. And we want to go, we're going to go on a D star, we're on a D star radio, which is the ICOM 52. And we're going to change the frequency to uh, 433.550. We should start to hear it soon, 550. And then we're going to hit. We want to join a reflector, so hit reflectors here on the left because we're, we're staying on D-Star. We could cross mode, but for now we'll do a reflector and we're going to choose, let's choose 30 Charlie. We'll go down, down to 30 and then hit that and then we'll go to Charlie. Connect. 
open spot connected to RPF030 Charlie. And literally, that is how simple it is to set up the open spot for. Now, there are profiles that you can set up where it does things more automatically and quickly, and you can use DTM, DTMF, but that's a separate video. So for now, we're connected, it's fully working. Let's show you how to do a quick cross mode. So we're not on DMR at the moment. So let's quick click Quick Setup. We're, we are on a D-Star radio, but this time we're going to choose Brandmeister, and we're going to go to... Um, UK, I'm in the UK, so we're going to go down to, where is it, do I go straight past that? Uh, da, 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 da. There it is there. No, that's not UK. I'm going to find UK, honestly. European Union. There it is there. United Kingdom 2341. We do need to get our password in for self-care, so get that. Go to the Brandmeister site and register and get your password in. Otherwise, it, what, you won't hear anything. Well, you'll hear something, but it, you won't hear the stations. And then we're going to link to, we're going to go to Worldwide, which is 91, usually busy. And then connect. And obviously, you, you, there's so many other Brandmeister or DMR things that you can Open connect to. Open spot connected to Brandmeister 2, 3, 4, 1. Link static talk group 9, 1, and 2, 3, 5, 0, <coughs> and 2, 3, 5, 1, and 2, yeah, and you will get that when it's connecting to everything. Now, if you get this, it's just because my internet isn't great in this room. But look, someone's there. It's working fine. Set the top half to use reflector on your any D Star radio to talk. It's use reflector. To change, go to link to reflector and you can actually use the radio to control it as well and you can even click on their call sign there and look at their QRZ so someone's talking now and you could even type in 4000 to disconnect so I hope this helps you just to firstly set up your open spot for thanks for watching my video and please like and subscribe 73 all the best